in plant morphology, thorns, spines, prickles, and in general spinostructures are all hard structures with sharp, stiff ends, generally with the same function of physically deterring animals from eating the plant material. In common language the terms are used more or less interchangeably, but in botanical terms, thorns are derived from shoots, spines are derived from leaves, and prickles are derived from the epidermis. Leaf margins also may have teeth, and if those teeth are sharp, they are called spinose teeth on a spinose leaf margin. On a leaf apex, if there is an apical process, and if it is specially sharp, stiff, and spine-like, it can be called spinose or pungent apical process. When epidermis is covered with very long, stiff trichomes is called hispid vestiture, if is covered with stinging trichomes it can be called urent vestiture. Function The predominant function of thorns, spines and prickles is deterring herbivory in a mechanical form. Not all functions of spines or glossids are limited to defense from physical attacks by herbivores and other animals. In some cases, spines have been shown to shade or insulate the plants that grow them, for example, the Saguaro cactus spines shade the apical meristem in summer and in members of the Opuntioidae glossids insulating the apical meristem in winter. A Grawl al. found that spines seem to have little effect on pollinators, which the plants need in order to reproduce. Definitions and technical distinctions, pointing or spinose processes can broadly be divided by the presence of vascular tissue. Thorns and spines are derived from shoots and leaves respectively, and have vascular bundles inside, whereas prickles do not have vascular bundles inside, so they can be removed more easily. Thorns are modified branches or stems. They may be simple or branched. Spines are modified leaves, stipules, or parts of leaves, such as extensions of leaf veins. Prickles are comparable to hairs but can be quite coarse, that is they are extensions of the cortex and epidermis. Spinescent is a term describing plants that bear any sharp structures that deters herbivory. It also can refer to the state of tending to be or become spiny in some sense or degree, as in the division of the African acacias on the basis of spinescent stipules versus non-spinescent stipules. Some authors prefer not to distinguish spines from thorns because, like thorns, and unlike prickles, they commonly contain vascular tissue. Technically speaking, Many plants commonly thought of as having thorns or spines actually have prickles. Roses, for instance, have prickles. Other structures that look alike are spinose teeth, spinose apical process, stiff trichomes and stinging trichomes. Equals types of spines equals, cacti can have a particular kind of spine very small and deciduous, with numerous retrous barbs along its length. This particular spine is called glycidium or glossid as found in areals of Opuntia. Spines can be petiolar spines as those of Foquiraria, leaflet spines as in Phoenix, stipular spines as in Euphorbia, all those are examples of spines developing from a part of a leaf containing the petial, midrib, or a secondary vein. Evolution It has been proposed that thorny structures may first have evolved as a defense mechanism in plants growing in sandy environments that provided inadequate resources for fast regeneration of damage. However, the suggestion was unsupported by any argument to discount the likelihood that spiny defenses might have been developed as a means of defense in resource-rich environments where herbivory might have been more intense than in the hypothesized sandy environments. Morphological variation Spinose structures occur in a wide variety of ecologies, and their morphology also varies greatly. They occur as, sharpened branches, spiky inflorescences, a tiny point at the tip of the leaf, leaves fully converted to spines, stipules converted to spines, prickles on stems, urticating hairs, bristles, and, finely barbed spines called glossids. Some thorns are hollow and act as mimcodomatia, others bear leaves. Thorns of some species are branched. In human culture, primitive humans are known to have used thorns as tools. Human history records a variety of cultural references to sharp pointed plant defensive mechanisms. The Book of Genesis recounts the creation of thorns as one of the punishments for the sin of Adam and Eve, stating, Thorns also and thistles shall the ground bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. Genesis 
318. One of the most enduring cultural images is the crown of thorns described in the Bible as having been placed on the head of Jesus before his crucifixion. It is mentioned in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and John and is often alluded to by the early Christian fathers, such as Clement of Alexandria, Origen, and others. For example, John's Gospel states that the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns, and put it on his head. The biblical account does not specify what kind of thorns were involved, and leaves no clues from which to determine whether these were biologically classifiable as thorns, spines, or prickles. An early popular myth involving a thorn is that of Androcles, a fugitive slave in ancient Greece who was said to have befriended a lion by pulling a thorn from the lion's paw. The status of the Scottish thistle as the national emblem of Scotland is founded on the story that an invading Norse army attempting a night attack was betrayed when they encountered a thistle in the dark. Plants bearing thorns, spines, or prickles are often used as a defense against burglary, being strategically planted below windows or around the entire perimeter of a property. They also have been used to protect crops and livestock against marauding animals. Examples include hawthorn hedges in Europe, agaves in the Americas and in other countries where they have been introduced, Osage orange in the prairie states of the U.S., and Saint Severia in Africa. In modern times, the study of the Cantotronology has used the oxygen isotope composition of spines from Saturo cactus to determine historical changes in local rainfall and reconstruct climate and plant ecophysiology over the plant's lifetime. See also, a real, Glossid. References, General References, Simpson, MG 2010. Plant Morphology. In, Plant Systematics, Second Edition. El Sevier Academic Press. Chapter 9. Judd, Campbell, Kellogg, Stevens, Donogu. 2007. Structural and Biochemical Characters. In, Plant Systematics, A Phylogenetic Approach, 3rd edition. Chapter 4. Esau, K. 1965. Plant Anatomy, 2nd edition. John Wiley and Sons 767 pp, Llamas, K.A. 2003. Tropical Flowering Plants. Timber Press, Portland. 423 pp. External links, Texts on Wikisers, Thorn. Collier's New Encyclopedia 1921. Thorn. The New Student's Reference Work 1914.